Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about a private browser called Brave. Um, you know, there's a lot of kind of conflicting reviews out there about Brave and some people love it, some people hate it. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about how Brave works, what it is, um, why people would use it, and some of the features that make it unique. So first of all, what is Brave? Um, so Brave's a browser, it's focused on privacy, that's its main selling point. Um, what sets Brave apart from other browsers is its uh, Brave attention token. So when you use Brave, uh, it blocks ads on websites and in those pla in place of those ads actually um, injects its own ads onto the page. So some people don't like that feature, but if you're wanting to protect your privacy from big ad networks like Google, uh, Brave can help you do that. And then in exchange for viewing Brave's ads, you'll get paid in Brave Attention Tokens, or BAT. It's a cryptocurrency that Brave has set up to encourage people to view ads so um, you're, you're not, like the ads that you would normally see, you're not giving your money to Google, you're getting compensated by Brave, which is a kind of an interesting way of an interesting model for internet advertising that hasn't really been done successfully, but Brave's trying, and I think Brave's growing in user base, so that's a good sign for them, and I think they've seen some success, but they've also been criticized a little bit. So, <clears throat> um, if the if the point of you using, the, using a privacy-focused tool is to avoid seeing advertisements, Brave's probably not for you because you know, they're just switching out the bad ads for good ads and then giving you this token um, that you can spend on whatever at any point down the road. Um, it hasn't been really seen how much money people are earning from browsing with Brave and earning basic attention tokens. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if it's worth it for people. If they find that you're making 10 cents a year and you use Browse or Brave all the time, it's probably not worth it. But you know, if you can make a couple dollars a month, it might be worth it to people to use Brave. Um, Brave is a free browser, which is good. Um, I wouldn't recommend using a paid browser just because there's so many free options out there that do a really good job. Um, Brave blocks trackers and ads on the sites you visit, which is um, pretty interesting, but it's kind of standard for browsers now. Um, what I do like about Brave is that it has a little pop-up window that'll tell you how many ads it blocked, um, and then you can turn on that blocking feature or however you want to do that. Um, if you're interested in security and aren't really looking to make a lot of changes to your browser settings and stuff, Brave's a good place to start because it's private pretty much out of the box. Um, it's actually some of the founders of Brave were previously at Mozilla working on Firefox and kind of split off to do their own thing with Brave. So, you know, Mozilla is a really respected company when it comes to privacy. Um, so, you know, these guys obviously have a, a good background and some good experience to apply to Brave and hopefully will um, kind of bring some of the great features from Firefox over to Brave uh, along with Brave's kind of unique features. Um, if you're looking for an alternative to Brave, if you've tried it out and decided you didn't like it, I'd recommend trying something like um, Firefox or Chromium. Uh, they're just really simple and easy to use, but are also pretty good on privacy. If you're wanting to go super down a rabbit hole and really want to lock down your browsing, then I'd recommend Tor Browser, but that's kind of a whole other thing that I'm not going to get into in this video. Um, so if you've tried Brave and like it, let me know. If you've tried Brave and decided it's not for you and you think it's um, a virus or malware because it you know, injects ads on the page you vi pages you visit, let me know too because I'd like to kind of discuss what you think makes a browser great. Um, just let me know in the comments. I'm also going to link to an article you should read in the show notes. It's a Brave browser review. It goes a little more in depth in this video. So check out the link there and let me know what you think. Thanks.